everyone, I'm Jamila and this is Teodora and today we're going to talk about our project which is about crop analysis from, sp from space and we're going to present three use cases and in the end we're going to see that from these three use cases one technology is used. So whenever a field, an agricultural field is affected by disease, which happens quite often, farmers need to know as soon as possible about the health of their crops. So we use satellite images in order to predict the health of the crops. And whenever there's a natural disaster, farmers need proof of damaged crops in order to be um, compensated from insurance companies. So we use satellite images in order to identify damaged crops. And European, the European Union has 1 billion euros of subsidies in order to help farmers and uh, the farmers need to demonstrate the planted crops. So we use satellite images in order to identify the types of crops. So as you, as you saw, there are three use cases and from these three use cases we use one same technology and let's talk about technology now. Hello everyone. So in our solution, we have built an automated, we have proposed an automated uh, framework by using information from space. We use information from the satellite constellation. And we use the power of artificial intelligence to extract the most valuable knowledge from this data, being able to have three concrete results. Crop classification, crop monitoring, and crop change detection. In these past eight weeks, we have focused on the problem of crop classification. Currently, the remote sensing community is facing the lack of an open source large scale data set and the lack of open source deep learning pre-trained models. So in the past two months, we have built an, a sample of an open source data set. We have trained and released deep learning model and we have open sourced our code extension to the deep learning framework called Hagit. In the moment, we are able to detect 25 different, different types of crops, achieving uh, a percentage of 84 uh, pixel similarity. Our work is not going to stop here. So in the future, we plan to release an open source large scale data set. We plan to refine our deep learning models by including the temporal information related to crop growth. And in addition to this, we are going to handle the noisy labels, the, the errors that are in the annotated crop cultures done by humans. And we are going to do this by in including statistical knowledge from the statistical field of optimal transport. And now remember the three use cases that we presented at the beginning. Use cases that target the farmers, the insurance companies, and the government. All of these three have a solution that uses satellite images and artificial intelligence. So we plan to combine these use cases and our technology into one platform, Smart Crop. A platform that is not meant to solve the problem of one individual. A platform that is meant for bringing together a community, for sharing knowledge, and for using the power of technology to create a sustainable agricultural environment. So a few things about us. I'm Theodora. I'm a computer scientist and currently a PhD student. Uh, my, uh, my background is in, um, is in deep learning applied on remote sensing. I'm one of the developers of, uh, of Hagen Framework for deep learning applied on remote sensing data. And Jamila? And I'm a PhD, um, I'm a doctor actually <laughs> in applied <laughs> mathematics. <laughs> yes, I have my PhD, it's been two weeks now, so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a PhD in applied mathematics used for um, processing satellite images. I worked on super resolution and I also worked on projects such as identifying um, interferences in satellite images with Zodiac Aerospace and I merged mathematical tools in, in order to increase the accuracy in deep learning models. And uh, thank, we would like to thank our mentor Diego uh, who is a researcher at Politecnico di Torino and our uh, stakeholders and sponsors. Thank you. Thank you.